Welcome everyone to another week with my lovely Dr. Parviz Rashman. This week we're going to talk about what is the difference between truth and reality. Thank you, Dr. Parviz. Welcome again. Thank you very much. It's it's a very interesting subject. Huh? Many people may have questions about this. I'll try to make it um, easy to understand and will expand the idea how this kind of thinking affects everything in our life and what is the hidden message in us for all of in this for all of us uh, to make it easy reality is what you could see what you could perceive what you could detect based on your five senses mm -hmm. a man passes by we can look at him and describe how he looked like if he was tall short whether dressed properly or not and a lot of other information in that sense this is the reality of that moment, of that experience. But you don't know him. I don't know him. Maybe the angel is in him. He's an amazing man doing so many beautiful work to help other people and so on. Or the devil is in mm -hmm. there. You have no idea what he's been doing or he's done. That becomes the truth in that scenario. Now, if you look at... Um, the science, let's say the last 350-year-old science of uh, classical physics and anything built on that, it says anything you could see, you could touch, or you could measure is considered as the reality, as, as an acceptable idea. Huh? If you cannot see something, if you cannot measure it or touch it, then it cannot it doesn't be... exist. Because it cannot be described by that science. Correct. So this classical science has become the backbone of our societies mm. from medicine to every other form of industry food production hollywood and entertainment banking system military system political system educational you name it i'll explain what i mean by that quantum mechanic quantum physics is called the physics of spirituality it was discovered back in uh, early in, in the 20th century. And they realized that it's a, it's a way of understanding beyond the boundaries of space and time. So when we, when we use quantum uh, technology or quantum science to, and apply it to any condition, we could see a lot more than what our eyes can see and our hands can touch. Yeah? For example... It doesn't matter how many x-rays or MRIs or blood tests or so on is done on a person. You can never find elements of love in the blood or the mm. tissue of that person who was his or her child. But with quantum, you immediately see vibration. You see colors. You see waves that are beyond physical realm. But it shows that, oh my God, this person is full of love. At least you have seen it so many times. Yeah? This is all provable. This is provable, and many people know about this. So this is so, vibrations, as you as vibration you're talking could, about. Of course, vibration could happen at the matter or the non-matter level. With quantum, we step beyond the matter boundaries, so mm -hmm. we see vibrations out of the scope of matter as well. And Dr. Parviz, I'm hearing more and more because I'm listening to more podcasts myself that we should talk to ourselves through vibration and not words. And I think this is this is probably what you're getting at. Sure, but words also have vibrations. You tell somebody. Have a sit. You tell somebody, sit down. Mm -hmm. It immediately makes them feel different. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm insulted. Wait a minute, sit mm -hmm. down. To, mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. So they would have, uh, they carry weight, frequency. Uh, they carry information, information. in them. Mm -hmm. yeah, so words are important. If The, the work of uh, Hidden Message in Water by Masura Emoto, it proves all of that. The vibration of the thoughts is recorded. Words, music, everything is recorded so we can see that. So to make everything easy to understand again, with material science, with classical science, which is also known as material science, you could only believe in what you could see, what you could touch, or what you could measure. <laughs> Anything beyond is not acceptable. Correct. That's why regular medical doctors can never be acquainted with the concept of soul through only medical school training. Absolutely. Yeah? Yep. They could never understand how you being here and your child being in America could could be affected through the emotions and feeling of each other by the by the thoughts. You could think about your son a few times and then suddenly you hear 
from him either he gives you a call or he sends you a message and he you know that oh my god I, it, it he was aware of my thought this whole quantum entanglement this is all science ah. now if you look at this concept of classical science and uh, we apply this understanding now to the world today let's see what what the world is today when we talk about matter part the first thing for anything to exist is the fact of existence, yes? So we need to exist in order to be able to carry on. If you look at the concept of classical science, for existence, you have a threat, something to take away that existence right from you. So basically, everything starts to struggle to survive. This is the concept of the conventional biology. Whatever that has been fitted the most after all these trillions of accidents Correct. was the one which could, which could accommodate itself within the vibration of the physical matter so it could stand. If the concept of existence is always uh, threatened by lack of existence, so there is always a reason to be stressed. Yeah. Now, I need to feel safe and secure. This is a very, very basic instinct. You see it in plants, you see it in fish, you see it in insects, whatever. Mm -hmm. First, they need to be able to exist. Mm -hmm. So they start with a struggle to exist. But the problem is that it continues. Okay? Imagine a bird is getting ready to lay eggs after she builds an amazing nest. And suddenly, the moment that she sits down, relaxed, ready to, to lay the eggs, she, she realizes that there is a snake wandering around that yeah. tree. This process of laying egg will stop automatically. It's impossible for her now to lay eggs because now there is a threat. Mm -hmm. She has to go away. She has to start a new life, a new experience again. Feel, feeling safe is the most important element here. She didn't feel safe having that snake around. Yeah? Okay. So the problem is that to keep themselves safe, I'm not talking about animals anymore because animals only hunt when they are hungry. When we uh, expand this concept to the idea of humanity, human beings can never be satisfied. You give them this much, they want more. You give them the planet Earth, they want Mars. You give them the solar system, they want other stuff. Huh? It's always like, because they want to feel more safe and more secure, not knowing or not understanding that what they have collected already is more than what they need. But that idea of, am I going to be okay? Uh -huh. It pushes them to grab more. So the more material gaining hey, they achieve, including money, safety. they become bigger, they become stronger, they feel more safe and more secure. Okay. Very interesting. The problem is that this lack of safety and security and the action that comes with it through the science of materialism will create a lot of imbalances in our world today because you see a lot of people who are owning incredible amount of wealth whereas such a large number of population mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who don't even have enough to satiate their, their basic needs. Now... If the life... Because it's all matter, right? Dr. Exactly. Parvish, we're just collecting matter. It's just collecting matter. Now, But it's imagine, good to know the reason behind it. Yeah, exactly. Why everyone is because wanting the nature more and of, more and more. Exactly. Because the nature of the material world is to focus on materialism. Yes. And the, most, and the biggest symbol of materialism yeah. is the money. Yeah. A more expensive car. The number of the investment. So people try to go and collect oh, more right. and more and more wealth. And the more they collect, the more addicted they become and the more need they become yeah they become more stingy most in most of the cases even though they are collecting so much right in fact the ones who collect a lot of wealth many of them they don't have the gut to spend the wealth that's why they accumulate it and mm. become something after mm. some time mm -mm. yeah so if somebody comes and sucks the wealth in from the society more and more of course they become bigger and bigger and bigger they, they become much more secure and more influential on the rest mm. of the population around but if you look at the society, the society goes more and more towards the empty side because they lose. There is somebody, there is a bigger field of energy that is sucking with yes. more power of yes. the wealth. But the rest of them, there is nothing to remain. So this creates imbalances. Now this is called competition. Everybody tries to compete for a better situation for their own because the goal is me, it's yes. not us. Us, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Now, as I, a result- I'll just stop you really yes, quickly sure. because I, you know, you have uh, inspired me to 
get into more podcasts and read more. And as I read, started reading um, Becoming Supernatural, I believe it is by Joe Dispenza, he has a beautiful page in there that talks about the frequencies and matter being the, at the bottom, which is the lowest energy. And when you say that, that, you know, we are, we're all just seeing what's this, which is the matter, and we're trying to collect more of that. Well, in reality, we're at the bottom of the, of the there is energy. A lot of this is a philosophical yeah. insight to this. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah of course. Now, hmm. if, we, if we look at the material science, classical physics, classical mechanics, this is what's supposed to be. You need to be stronger in order to secure yourself. You need to collect as much as possible. You mm -hmm. need to fight to collect more. Correct. The lion hunts one time. It doesn't need to eat anymore for days until it becomes hungry again. For us, we can hunt every second, even if we cannot eat. This fact of being able to control the society around will give us power and we push on that. This is because our mind is set in the beginning to vibrate within the material world. Now, yeah. the reason that we go through life and experience is to find out about the truth of the creation so we become more balanced in our thought mm -hmm. and in our action. What do I mean by that? With quantum system, when we look at the equilibrium of a system, we don't see as one big part and everything is small. Mm -hmm. We see everything is connected. And the law of nature says when two fields of energy come close to each other to interact, this is the rule. Always energy, which is power, which is money, which is attention, which is everything, flows from the big field towards the smaller field. So nature, in the truth of itself, the big elements are feeding the smaller elements. In the material world, the big elements are sucking things out of the smaller entities. Now, if you look at this spiritual science, we understand that, okay, in order for life to carry on, we need to keep the state of balance. We can't just suck and suck and suck out of the society. In our human body, this is called cancer because one of the cells is sucking so much and the rest is becoming smaller. It becomes a tumor. This is a tumor behavior most of the people have without them knowing about it. And I it. feel right now we're at a point in society where we're at this imbalance, where more people are in search of exactly what you're saying. Because, because of the universal field of energy which is changing and there is more knowledge required for people to right. carry on. Right. This is the new era of energy system mm -hmm. that we, are, mm -hmm. we have started recently. But anyways, the point is that now we know that the way to continue life, we need to keep the balance. To keep the balance, we cannot compete as before anymore. Even the planet Earth doesn't have enough resources to, to, to support us with our competition. So there's more destruction and there's more war and there's more damages are happening all the time. The fact, the truth is that we need to keep the balance. We need to give while we take yeah in an equal way in a, in a right. rational way right. because the goal is not to compete anymore is to cooperate mm -hmm. this is the big difference if we stop this idea of competing with each other and we try to slowly get into cooperation pay more attention to the ones who need give a little bit more to the ones who are depending on us not necessarily even money, the attention, the energy, the love, the, the care, anything could fit in that Correct. category. It's not just money anymore. Correct. Not only do mm -hmm. we get a much better society in advance, but also we could improve the level of our spirituality, not at an individual level, but as a collective level to much, much, much higher level of vibration. Well, they always say giving brings more joy than anything in the world. We need to learn that. Not yeah. everybody is aware of that. No? We don't want to be a tumor in our society. Look, in our human body, there's about 70 trillion cells equal to almost 10,000 times of the inhabitant of the planet Earth in one bag. It becomes me, it becomes you. Now, every one of these cells, if they are taken individually and put in the right environment, in, the, in a culture dish in laboratory, they independently yeah. continue their life. They could reproduce, they could move, they could uh, hunt, they could get rid of the yes. uh, waste, they could respond to the signals. Huh? They're aware of their environment. Exactly. It's all about them. But when they become a part of the community, they mm -hmm. become the tissue, they become the human body. Mm -hmm. They don't think about themselves as yes. an individual entity anymore. Yes. It becomes us. Yes. 
So cells in our body constantly sacrifice personal things in order to keep yes. the, the collective things. Yeah? yeah, This sounds like a loving mother, loving father. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a loving family who cares so much. A loving group of people who really dedicate a lot of things to improve mm -hmm. the society. These right. are the ones who are passing by and they see garbage. Not only do they take care of their own garbage, but they also do something. Then, yeah. yeah, This is the difference. Yes. Now, who is ready to get this idea and try to act upon it? Because whatever we do, it will, it will leave a recorded message at the energy level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I slap somebody, that information will never be destroyed unless I go back and correct it. Correct. That we are collecting information as we spoke before. Yes. This collective information, our, our life experiences, which recorded. is recorded constantly, whether mm -hmm. we are aware of it or not, is creating a new world for us. The next time that I'm moving, shifting into the new paradigm, I need to know where I am landing. Everything has to be calculated in advance. There is no accident, there is no randomness. So to make everything simpler, if you look at still our world today, look at the corporate businesses. They don't care about their employees. Look at big businesses. All they think about is to make more income and more profit at Numbers, the end. Yeah. For what cost? Cost the cost. For example, if you catch a fish in any water, anywhere in the world to their oceans, you can no longer squeeze the liver of the fish to get the fish oil out. It's contaminated with mercury. But oceans are incredibly vast. Who has caused so much contamination? Us. The industry is not us. The owners of the industry, the ones who are acting exactly like the devil, so they don't care about anything mm -hmm. but collecting more wealth. One day will come and this new people, new, new people with new thinking come together and they create a bigger field of energy that could influence or stop or change the behavior of the previous ones, then we can create a better life for ourselves. It's all about cooperation because we need to keep the balance not only in our family but in our society, in the world True. that is because True. this is a gift to leave it for our for our children and, and our, our grandchildren. grandchildren and great grandchildren. We don't want them to to suffer in future Absolutely. and go back and say you didn't do anything, right. blaming their their uh, grandparents of of not doing enough. This is the key, and this is the key to success. And because the time is now. Believe it or mm. not, exactly the time is now. You mentioned something earlier that today people are becoming more aware mm -hmm. because of universal shift. The ones who understand this little basic science mm -hmm. and they can act upon it. They're going to have a bright future. The other ones, despite all the wealth that we'll they stay have, behind. Yeah. they can no longer grab to their wealth. So that imagine the tip of the finger is going to burn and then this ball of wealth that they have is going to drop very soon. You better be ready for the beautiful future to come. And I choose to be a part of that better future like you. We hope and we pray for the others who are pretending to be sleeping to wake up and take responsibility for their actions. Absolutely. Beautifully said, Dr. Parviz. Really, I just wanted to reiterate, and you said it so lovely, that every cell of our body, is, it, 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 can, it can become, uh, replicate enough to become us again, the human body. But in, rather than doing that, they're uniting as a team, as a society, which with a lot of compromise, to be this one human body that we are, each of us individually, and be beautiful as we are. And this is what we're trying to get at, is we need to stand together on this. And for those of you that are already on this path or way beyond us even, lucky you. And for the rest of us, we're happy to be gaining this knowledge. And uh, hopefully it is a beautiful journey ahead. Thank you. Thank it's you pleasure, so yeah. much, Dr. Parviz. Until next time, everybody, have a lovely week. Mm -hmm.